How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're gonna to be checking out a very cool but inexpensive plastic tool used to remove cables on push and self-propel lawnmowers. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so today in the shop, we are working on this self-propel lawnmower here. This thing is a kind of combination of a whole bunch of parts. This engine was not even made for this mower deck, but we're ripping it all apart because we have some scrap mowers that we've been tearing apart. Now on a lot of these newer lawnmowers, you guys are gonna see for the control cable there, they install them through a hole that has a little slot cut out of them, and they use just a piece of plastic with these two little barbs. And the way they work is you can simply hook up your Z-Bend right up here, and then you pull this conduit back, you put the cable through the slot, and then you just pop the plastic into the slot there on the metal bracket, and that doesn't go anywhere. It's gonna hold itself into position. However, to remove these sometimes can be a little bit tricky because you have to push down and squeeze on these plastic tabs in order to pop that cable conduit out of that metal bracket. Now, so you guys can see a bit easier, I've zip tied the coil wire out of the way, but I wanted to show you guys that uh, in the past, I have removed these using just a pair of needle nose pliers. Now, when they're in a tricky, hard to get area, and you put the needle nose pliers onto the tabs here and you try to squeeze down, a lot of times they're going to slip off, right? So it can be a little tricky, but it's not impossible. Uh, again, I've been doing this for years and uh, this is the way that I've done it before I had the tool that I'm about to show you. So I just wanted to show you guys that uh, it is still possible to remove these without the tool, but it's gonna make it much easier. So we're over here on the workbench and I have in front of me the tool that is going to replace a pair of needle nose pliers. We are never going to have to use those ever again to remove one of those cables. And I have in front of me the BS Small Engines cable removal tool. These come in a variety of different colors and this is what is referred to as the 2.0 design. So it's the second variation of this tool. We're going to be discussing the first and the second generation of these tools in a bit, but this design is incredibly simple and I just wanted to give a shout out to the designer, Brandon Buckler of B Buckler Designs. You guys can check him out on YouTube. His YouTube channel is BS Small Engines. All of the links will be in the description as well as the pinned comment down below. So let's have a closer look at this tool. So you guys can see here BS Small Engines. This is a 3D printed plastic tool that has this little small cylinder at the end with a cutout. And that cutout is going to be important because that's what allows you to slip it over the cable. And then you use this little cylindrical piece here at the end to pop over those two tabs that need to be pressed down. And then all you have to do is pull the cable on the other side. So we'll go back over to the lawnmower and I'll show you just how easy this tool is to use. All right guys, so we're back over here on the lawnmower. I will install the cable back into the bracket there. Like I said, these just pop in and out. And what we're gonna do is take that slot on the tool there and we're going to go over top of the cable and then we're just going to push the tool onto the plastic there and that pushes the tabs down and then all you have to do is come to the back side of the cable and it pops right out. Super simple just like that guys. It's like you could do this a hundred times and it's so satisfying and it's such a good tool to use. This is like one of the best things ever. Now you guys saw just how easy this tool was to use. So the bottom line is, what does a tool like this cost? Well, Brandon sells them for approximately $15 Canadian, which works out to be approximately $12 US. Now, he is based out of Longview, Texas. However, as far as I know, he does ship them anywhere in North America. I'm here in Canada and he was able to get these to us without any problem. As far as international overseas shipping, you'll have to contact him and ask. Now you'll remember at the beginning of the video, I did say that there was a first and second generation of this tool. The first design that he made was about two years ago and nine months ago at the point of this video, he has upgraded the design to include this taller section right there. And the lawnmower that I have today by chance is a perfect fit to show off how good this 2.0 tool works. 
So why is this mower in particular a perfect lawnmower to show off the 2.0? Well, you guys saw that I used the short side of the tool to pop this cable out without any issues, right? This is, for the most part, a flat metal bracket. So there is really nothing that can get in the way of this piece of plastic here that depresses those two little tabs down to be able to pull that cable out. But if we go up to the handlebars, you guys are going to see we're not going to have as much room. So self-propel mower. And on this particular one, it has the main control cable that's going to engage your flywheel brake and your kill switch there, but it also has the drive cable. And on this particular mower, they utilize this piece of plastic that has the dual cable connector here. And the main issue on this one is when you try to fit the small edge down here, well, you guys can see that because of the design of how short that piece is, it just doesn't fit down far enough to depress those tube tabs that are holding the cable conduit into that bracket. So Brandon made the 2.0 version with this longer piece on this end here, and it works wonders for taking those out. So we have the tool here, short side. We're gonna be now using the long side, and we're going to do it the same way. Pop that over, push that down. It now has more surface material there, and that cable comes right out. Check that out. You can reinstall them, install them within seconds, guys. This thing works awesome. It's such an easy tool to use, and it really makes removing these cables a lot of fun. Now, for full transparency, this is not a sponsored video. I ended up purchasing these, but I did want to give Brandon a huge shout out because we ended up buying a few of these. He gave us a bit of a discount to help cover some shipping as I was going to be doing this video here, reviewing the tool, as well as giving some of these away to my friends who do small engine repair here in my area. We've already given one away and we plan on giving another two away as well. Once again, I always like to include that just so you guys know I'm not being paid to review this. So with that being said, you guys saw just how easy this tool is to use. What are one of the drawbacks of something like this? Because you guys know I always like to give the pros and the cons. Well, I'm gonna put a photo up on screen here. This is an MTD riding lawnmower that I had to remove a PTO cable. That's the power takeoff or essentially the blade engagement cable. And on this particular MTD riding lawnmower, the cable snaps in near the rear transmission housing and it's incredibly difficult to get in there. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough room to use this tool due to the straight and 90 degree design. Believe it or not, I actually had to use these pliers right here, which were like fuel line or hose clamp removal pliers. They were rounded enough and had enough of a 45 that I was able to kind of fish these up in there, open up the jaws and then close it around the tabs just enough so that I could pull out the cable. Now, I haven't mentioned this to Brandon yet. I'm sure he'll be watching the video, but I am going to be recommending that he does a third variation of this design that can be sold separately apart from this straight one. And as you guys can see, I'm no designer, but I just sketched this up really quick. So what I'd love to see is basically the same type of tool that would have this short edge down here on one end. However, I'd love to see a 45 come off of the top and then have another 45 that goes to a 90 with the big end up there. And then you guys can see, I just added a little bit of material there to provide a little bit more strength to these corners here. Think of them almost like a gusset. And something like this would work perfectly to remove that cable that you guys saw on that MTD riding mower there. Because from what I could see, I would be able to go up between the transmission and the riding mower chassis, and I'd be able to put the cable through the slot and then simply pull down, and that would work wonders for removing those, and I wouldn't have to struggle with the pliers that I mentioned earlier. That's just my thoughts. I'm sure he could design something like that. Once again, Brandon Buckler, B Buckler Designs on Etsy, BS Small Engines on YouTube. So go support his Etsy page. You can buy a couple of these. They work awesome. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. A really cool tool that was designed by a fellow small engine repair YouTuber. Once again, all of the links to his Facebook, his Etsy page, as well as his YouTube channel are gonna be in the links down below. So go check him out and make sure you let him know that Jake from Eliminator sent you. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week. So be sure to stop on by next week, check channel out for new content. 
And as always, guys, thanks for watching.